Hi everybody, this is Mr. Musticado here. Welcome to my online classes. Uh, I'm really excited to get started uh, and I hope everyone's doing okay. I miss everybody and I can't wait to see them sometime soon so we can make music together. But for now, I'm going to be running some online classes. So why don't we get started? So today's topic is going to be about syncopation. Now syncopation can be a little bit tricky. Uh, but it also makes music so much more interesting and fun. Uh, there's so many great things that you can do with syncopation, and once you really, really understand how it works, it's going to change your life. I promise. So here we go, everyone. What is syncopation? Uh, the way I like to start explaining it is actually by singing a song. And it's a really, really fun song. It's called Funga Alafia. Okay? It's a Nigerian folk song. Uh, I'm gonna sing a little bit for you, so enjoy. Funga alafia ashe ashe, Funga alafia ashe ashe, Funga alafia ashe ashe, Funga alafia ashe ashe. So that's how the song goes. Uh, it's actually a greeting song, a great song to sing. I sing it in the mornings all the time with my students. Uh, and but what I want you to look at, okay, is the green box. Okay, so the green box is highlighting the last measure, okay, and it looks like this. Okay, and these are the words: ashe, ashe, right? But it, but it sounds like this. I'll clap it and say it at the same time. Ashe, ashe. Ashe, ashe. Can you do it with me? All right, here we go. One, two, ready, and ashe, ashe. Ashe, ashe. Nice, nice. So this right here is what I would like to call the most important part of the song. And I'll explain why. So when we think of regular standard music, okay, we always like to think that there's some type of steady beat underneath, whether we hear it or not, right? And it would look something like this. I'm sure everyone is familiar with these notes. These are our tas or our quarter notes, right? And if I was to play this over and over again, it would simply sound like this. So, what would happen if we played this, right, our syncopation, with the steady beat at the same time? Hmm. Let's find out. Now, this could be, this is where it can get a little bit tricky, and sometimes it feels like they're fighting with each other, right? So you have the steady beat on one side, and then you have the syncopation on the other side, and sometimes it feels like they're really battling with each other, but once you play it and you understand how they fit within each other, it sounds very, very cool. I'll demonstrate. First, I'm going to play just the steady beat with my left hand. That's this part, just the steady beat. Now I'm going to play the syncopation at the same time and see what it sounds like. Ready? Here we go. hear that? Let me show you a diagram. Uh, hopefully this diagram will help explain how syncopation works. So take these four squares as our steady beat, right? The way syncopation works is we accent, right, or make those notes really, really strong that fall off of these steady beats that don't line up with these steady beats, right? We make those really, really strong and accented. So this is what our syncopation would look like if we were to draw it in squares, right? So on top is our steady beat, and bottom is our syncopation. Now if we were to draw straight lines, right, 
all the way down, right in the middle, they should match up properly, right? If they were both steady beats, right? Falling on the beats. But watch what happens. So if you take a look at the end, right? Our last two fit perfectly. They line up perfectly, right? But look at this right here. Do you see? Where there's space, okay, there's a steady beat going on. Vice versa, right? Where there's space up top here, there's the syncopation happening. Right? So we use syncopation to enhance our music. So before we go, uh, I just want to offer some, some words of encouragement. This topic uh, is very, very confusing at first, right? But just remember, you've been singing songs and playing songs all your life that have syncopation in them. You just didn't know what they were called yet. So now, once we put it down on paper, it might be a little difficult to grasp, but I know that you'll be able to get it. Uh, I'll have some more songs for you uh, in the next lesson that really use a lot of syncopation. There's a great song called uh, The Canoe Song, or My Paddle, that uses the same type of syncopation as Funga Alafia. Something like Ashe, Ashe, and My Paddle ends with something that you might be familiar with, Dip, Dip, and Swing. Dip, Dip, and Swing. It's the same pattern that we discussed today. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye, everybody.